so Kurt, tell us what are we looking at here? So you're looking at a uh, matrix array through mode force sensor that is uh, that can be found inside of the little instrument that's currently being played by uh, Fee Bui. Uh, so it's a it's a force sensor that allows the musician to expressively interact with their instrument and with their music. They do this through force sensors, which is uh, allows you to push through a force sensing ink that gives you a variation in conductance, and that's then interpreted by the electronics of the instrument to give you changes in pitch and timber, velocity sensing, and all that sort of thing. So how is it constructed? Uh, it's, uh, it's fairly straightforward, really. It's, uh, it's layers of polyester uh, with some uh, conductive traces, uh, silver traces, uh, force sensing ink, which is sort of the secret sauce. Uh, and that's what Tangio Printed Electronics does, is we, we help our, take our part customers from, uh, from the design idea through prototyping in through to uh, global mass production. That's excellent. And tell me about some of the other things going to here. So, what are these applications? Yeah, well we have, well actually th these are very standard. These are the, these are starting from scratch for, for engineers. These are available on our website. Uh, there are four sensors you can buy online. And the intended target is engineers that have an idea, they want to use force sensors in their application, they buy it online, test it out, see how it works, and then get to the next phase, which is different shapes, different sizes, different sensitivities for whatever application they might have. So how are these different from conventional force sensors? What can you do with these you can't do with other types? Other types? Well, it's, uh, there's, uh, the force sensors we make are more uh, temperature stable, yes. uh, low drift, so part to part repeatability. Um, different ranges as well so we, rather than simply just being touching you can also you can build this differently so let's say you need to have a car drive over top of it and still have some sort of threshold uh, change or some sensing of, of different weights uh, so there's different there's tons of different applications and uh, they can do lots with it right it's just about your company so you buy the materials but you create these sensors and systems around them that's right, yeah, well, not, uh, we, we make the sensors for the most part. Yeah. As time goes on, we've been, uh, we've been increasing our capabilities and, and working with, uh, with technology developers to give the full package, not just the sensor, but also the controller and the software to basically, basically give them a full develop, development kit to take an idea all the way through to production. And so you're one of many companies in Canada working with electronics. And Thomas, you're, you work at NRC, yep. um, overlooking the print electronics activity there. Tell us a bit yes. about NRC. Hey, thank you. So National Research Council in Canada, we're developing technologies for um, industry and then we're transferring to our partners, some of which are actually exhibiting with us. We're very grateful for uh, ID Tech X to give us good visibility, but I guess Tangio is providing the entertainment, so how yeah, to yeah, compete. Yeah. Um, so here around the pavilion you have 10 co-exhibitors representing a very nice cross-section of the plus 70 plus members of the ecosystem in Canada. Some of them providing advanced nanomaterials, some of them at, uh, manufacturing devices like Tangio, or some other ones uh, providing some uh, end-use scenarios like uh, the wearables in the back or packaging right in the front here. And Peter here has created within one year an association of Prince Electronics in Canada with now 70 members, over 70 members. That's, Tell us about yeah. what the association is doing. Well, thank you, Raghu. We really appreciate uh, ID Tech X being the first member in our association last year at this show. And uh, we built the association through our hard work with our members and our, our partners within our Canadian industry. And uh, among them, of course, our flagship program at the National Research Council and good partners like Xerox and uh, you know companies like Tenjo Electronics who, who is really bringing out the innovation from our our, our ecosystem so our goal is to uh, bring different focus to our industry including you know entertainment intelligent packaging intelligent connected buildings and, and shortly we'll be moving into healthcare that's our aspirations to, to bring together the full supply chain right from materials right up to the end users Great.